In case you forgot, it's Mother's Day this Sunday, which gives you a couple of days to order some flowers or pick up something that wasn't bought at the gas station for the mother in your life. However, if your mum like mine is particularly tech savvy, she may appreciate some digital gifts. I asked my mum to recommend some of her favourite iPhone and iPad apps in the hopes that they might inspire others. BeeJive is an IM service available for the iPhone and iPad. My parents both chat to me throughout the day as I am online most of the time. This means we can instant message across the Atlantic when it's convenient, instead of having to send slow emails or make other arrangements. She also uses Facebook for a similar purpose, but apparently I'm never online. I think mostly that's so she can check my sister and I are updating things and thus alive when we are unresponsive. She uses WhatsApp, which is a very nice application allowing you to send text messages to anyone in the world for free. I use it with my mum, my sister, and my friends in other countries very often. It's useful for immediate contact without the long distance fees. The next thing she told me about was BBC iPlayer, which is basically Hulu. She uses it to avoid having to plan watching TV shows that she likes, so she never has to miss Strictly Come Dancing. My mum loves the Kindle app, and I recently took this recommendation from her myself and have been using it a lot. The app saves the place of whatever book you are reading on your Kindle and lets you sync your phone to it. Very useful for surprisingly boring situations or when you just forget to take your Kindle with you. The screen isn't even that difficult to read from. Then out of nowhere, apparently my mum uses Dropbox. She loves being able to access documents from anywhere and share files with her business partner. I think she may also just hate flash drives, which is understandable. The app to get my mum's love it stamp of approval though, Ribbit. I'd never heard of this before having our conversation. Ribbit turns voicemail messages into texts so that you don't need to remember the message or any phone numbers people may leave. I think this sounds super useful as I hate listening to voicemail messages. I haven't even set up my voicemail. It seems as though most of the apps my mum uses are for communication, easier ways to work and get in touch with people. Though I know that she definitely has a few games of Angry Birds under her belt too. So for Mother's Day this year, instead of buying your mum more candles and soaps that she keeps in the cupboard, why not teach her about a few new ways you guys can stay in touch that fit in with your busy schedule?